Hi everybody, this is John Lamazny, and I am a beer critic at beercritic.wordpress.com. And tonight we are looking at Belgica, which is Great Divides, Belgian style India Pale Ale. Uh, it's coming in at 7.2% ABV. The uh, Belgian style IPA is absolutely one of my favorite styles. I love the fruity elements of a Belgian style and I love the bitter citrusy effects of an IPA. And um, despite some some pretty middle-of-the-road ratings on various uh, beer rating sites I really like this brew quite a bit. I'm not sure uh, why it's getting panned, but um, let's let's try and examine that. So, as suggested, I'm going to have this in a Trappist glass. Let's go ahead and listen to the crack. There is no sediment. That is a beautiful, beautiful body right there. Absolutely amazing. I really like that head. Lots of carbonation. Very, very brilliantly clear. See if I can get a whole bottle shot there. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Visually, I think it's stunning. And um, especially the design on most Great Divide bottles, I think, is absolutely amazing. Um, I like to think that I'm not swayed too much by... Uh, label design, but in this particular case it definitely adds to the quality of the brew for me. Hmm. So, there it is. That is brilliantly clear. A nice mixture of citrus and a hoppy, sort of like centennial hoppiness. The lace is holding on. The Belgian lace is holding on. And very active body. Lots of clove. Um, a little bit of banana as you might expect in a Belgian style. I really like the way that it's holding on. Okay. Let's give it a taste. That is very bitter. But all the time in the background, there is a malty sweetness, uh, biscuits, lots of biscuits, um, definitely dry, definitely blunt, uh, but I love it. I mean, I really, really enjoy this beer. So I, I hope that uh, Great Divide continues to put it out. 
I think it's not as over the top as many of the styles that try to do this. You know, I think about um, Hublin Dovlin from uh, Shoof, and uh, they do a fantastic Belgian IPA. Uh, it's really almost a double IPA or a strong Belgian IPA. But uh, that particular beer is the exemplar, I think, in the style. But this is not bad. Highly affordable. I think it was about $9 for a 6. It would be around $30 or $35 for a case. I would love to spend $35 on a case of this. It's really, really delicious. So, thanks for your time and attention. Have a great night.